we invite you to watch the video on the Aquaculture Farm channel. Swordfish and sword fishing have become my passion over the past five years. What started as a bucket list dream catch 14 years ago has turned into a full-time obsession with all things swordfish. When I am not preparing for a 48-hour New England swordfish yeah. trip in our short six-month season, I am reading, researching, and trying to learn more about this magnificent, top-of-the-food chain pelagic predator. I had heard the dock stories and seen the odd picture of one, but I had no idea where they lived or how to catch them. Earlier that summer, I saw one basking on the surface at dawn. Carolina Classic could get me to 100 fathoms and was a great trolling boat, but it was brutally bad for drifting at night due to its deep sea bottom. Its roll was so uncomfortable that sleep was little more than a cockpit catnap for me. I was alone on the deck at 2 a.m. with three of four baits drifted out haphazardly for tuna. I dug in and stopped the fish, no doubt with excessive drag and additional hand pressure, and started cranking it upward, assuming it was a tuna. As the crew stumbled up on deck, I tried to muscle the fish and pulled the hook. It was gone. The worst part of the story was that my crew didn't believe me and decided I had been fighting a blue marlin. I thought it was a free jumping selfish, but it looked different when it hit the water on the last jump, said Captain John Dudash, who was running wound up in the ESP and televised BXRL fishing tournament. Once we started pulling up fish off the bottom, we knew it was just a matter of time before it spread like wildfire, Boyle says. A swordfish is much stronger than a blue marlin. Look at the, muscular, base of the tail. The dorsal is fixed, not folding, and it has that big, flat bill, allowing swordfish to dig deep in long fights against anglers largely unaided by boat and captain. Proficiency catching swordfish deep is affecting other fisheries too. New England has always considered swordfish a bonus says Charter Captain Jack Springer of Rhode Island, where they're often caught overnight while drifting for tuna. At sunrise, we're pulling oars. Around midday, when the tuna bite slows, we would have caught dolphin on high flyers. Now we're deep dropping for swords instead, Springer says, but along with swordfish.